one of the things that they've done very well is they've had the community support to pass the bond issues. We have old buildings that need to be replaced. We need to replace those buildings. Some can be remodeled, but some need to be replaced. I was excited to hear that when they were going to uh, replace Reed, they were going to save all the old wood and, and put it into the ceiling to, to make sure that you had some part of history back. I understand it's, it's tough to lose history, but there are many times that we have to need, we, we need to look for the future. Not what's best for the student today, we need to look what's best for the student today and the years to come. Building, replacing, and building some great schools in the heart of Springfield really will encourage those students and their families to attend in there. We don't want a student thinking they have, they have to go to an old rundown school when their neighboring school is so much newer, so much, has so many other facilities. Um, we, we don't build buildings for today and tomorrow. We're building schools for the future generations, the next generation. And uh, that's been, that has been something great. Uh, what we need to work on is we need to work on retaining great teachers and great staff. We are at a teacher shortage, a staff shortage, short of bus drivers. We need quality people that we can retain, and we know that salaries and benefits help, but we need to work, we need to look at the working relationships as well.